What is up guys? It's your boy Ryan here. We're uh, trying something new. We're gonna record my own podcast because you know Corey is dropping the slack. hasn't been hasn't been here on time. He hasn't uh, actually haven't even heard from him in a couple couple uh, hours. So here we are. Welcome to brand new podcast. Hydrate yourself with Ryan. On this podcast, we're gonna, you know, just go dive deep, dive deep into my own like emotions and feelings. Um, maybe have some some special guests here. Who knows? We'll we'll see how the vibe is. But yeah, I'm really excited for this future here, and uh, I can't wait to bring you guys along with me here. But oh, oh, hey, Cor- hey, hey, Corey, buddy, what you uh, what what you doing here? What do you think you're doing? Um, I, I'm just testing the audio, making sure the video works. Oh, is your thing working? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sick. Cool. Um, Why are you in the pool? Uh, no, I just wanted to get center center frame. Uh, obviously, no other. Why? Reason. Because you think you're the most important? Uh, no, no, I would I wouldn't say that. Exactly. Because I think I think we're equally important. Yeah. To this team. Yeah, yeah. This team. A team. There's, That's there's, what we are. Yeah. There's no. Yeah. Uh, there's no I in team, right? N- no, no, there is not. But there's definitely a me in that bitch. <clears throat> but anyway, if you're dyslexic. Oh. Okay. Wait. So why were you in the pool? I, I was cooling off for the hot summer day. There's no water in the pool. What's up, guys? We're back. Episode three. Episode three. Take two. <laughs> take, yeah, take two. Take two. We uh, we actually embarrassingly did that whole skit. Yeah. <laughs> and then my camera was like, "Hey, <laughs> your SD card is full. Your SD card is full, baby." <laughs> <laughs> so we had to redo it all. This one was much better. Yeah, I think this one was a lot better. This one too. was a lot better. Yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> yeah. We're back. Welcome We're back. back. We're back. I'm Ryan. This is Corey. Obviously, if you don't know, I think I'm still going to do that in every intro, just in case. Just in case we yeah. have some new people, you know. I'm all for it. So we we recently got uh, some criticism from someone at work. Oh. Um. Good. I just I just wanted to clear the air. <clears throat> we're on YouTube, and we're also on Apple Podcasts. We're also on Spotify. A lot of the Spotify and Apple podcasters, yeah, they don't know what we're doing. That's fair. Okay, in what sense? Like what we're like with the books, like when we were showing each other our childhood stuff. Like they didn't know what was going on. They didn't know what was in our hands. Oh, okay. so I feel like so we, we gotta, need to be more descriptive. Okay, I'm fine. I I agree. That makes a lot of sense. We apologize. No, no baby I, steps. Yeah, just baby you know? steps. This we is pre- this is our third episode. Our third episode with a camera. Exactly. Two. Kind of crazy. We're actually doing pretty good on YouTube, actually. Yeah, we're doing very for, good. For very first starters, for given all the circumstances, our first yeah. video has 43 likes. Or not likes. Likes would be nice. But yeah, <laughs> likes would be nice. 33 views. And then our second one, last week's, has 25, I think. Cool. And then we have six subscribers. So that's kind of sick. Baby steps. Thanks, thanks, thanks to all six of you. Thank, thanks to all of you. Even though two... Two, two of them are two of them right. are us. <laughs> two of them are us. Thanks to the other four people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we got to get somewhere, right? I know. Uh, we exactly. Yeah. We haven't even started marketing ourselves yet. Yeah, We're gonna we work on that today. Check out our TikTok. Yeah, check out our TikTok. Hopefully, there will be some up by the time this is out. <laughs> it, it, they should be out, they, right? Yeah, they should be. We yeah. have all week to do it. Yeah. I got some good ideas from Avery on which ones we should do too. Avery's just filled with good ideas. Avery, I love that woman tremendously. I love she that woman. She's so too. supportive for everything. So supportive. Everything. I love everything. It so much. Like literally, she was giving me ideas on like what we could do for the podcast, like our intro for our skit, for the TikTok. She's supports me with everything. And I love Should that be our first or second? Should wait. Second special guest. Should she be our se- a guest? Uh, uh, guest? She guest? Oh, sorry, she got so excited. Right, yeah. I guess we'll have to find out. I th- when should we start doing special guests? I don't know. I don't I know. We like just we did one last episode. I mean, yeah, but that one was by, <laughs> by accident. Yeah, he might even surprise. come out again to do the laundry again. Uh, maybe. <laughs> he probably will, honestly. Maybe. But um, yeah, that's that's us. We're getting into it. So uh, let's roll into it. What? How was 
I want to. How's your weekend? I don't think we've done that before. How is your? How are you, Corey? How's I'm, your weekend? I'm very good, actually. I'm very tired. That like Saturday, like really, like kicked my ass. Yeah, Saturday was a rough day. We both work, obviously, at Golden Flame. We work twelve hours. Ten. I work ten to ten thirty. He works ten thirty to ten thirty. He comes in a little bit later, not yeah. that much. But it's a rough shift, especially. It was the so there's three. It's usually four. There's usually four people on that day for the guys at least for the back half the kitchen, um, but there was three of us. It was our man Sergio. We mentioned him, uh, us or me and then Corey. So the three of us. However, <laughs> at around six thirty ish, right when it gets busy, our boy boy Sergio had a house emergency, so he had to leave, and it was just Corey and I. And luckily, Carlos, the owner, the big guy of Golden Flame, he, luckily he was there to help us. But it was still a lot. It was a lot on both of us. And we were both very exhausted. And uh, it was a rough day. He he gave me attitude on Saturday. I, I was to. like, who are you talking I'm sorry. to? sorry, okay? Whoa. I'm sorry. I had if to. I, it was honestly fair, though, because like the mood I was in, I took it poorly as well. Like I got upset because obviously I was really tired and everything too, so it's just bad moods interacting. But I was still like, "Whoa, <laughs> who is this guy?" Yeah, I was. I, I'm sorry. I apologize. No, it's all good. I like I said, we were both exhausted. It was yeah. a long fucking day. Yeah, it was. It was a lot. It was. I well, could, like we 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 survived it. We and did. Then we came it. back yesterday. And kick some ass. Oh hell yeah, we did. Thank God it was. Slow. Yeah, it, it was, was a nice recovery was day, honestly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was really nice. But that kind of a little segue to where I, one of the questions I wanted to ask you. So that night I went over to Avery's, and I kind of hung out with her. But I'll admit it, I did kind of cry. Like I was just like, it was a lot. I was very stressed. It was a very stressful day. And then with her just being like, hey, like what's wrong? Like talk to me, blah blah. blah. I was like, <gasps> and I, I cried a little bit. It wasn't like a, it wasn't like a hardcore cry, but it was just like tears. A couple tears falling. came down yeah. her face. Like you I licked was, it up. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was kind of funny. Cause like the tear, I was like hot and sweaty, obviously. Cause it's next door. Hot to and sweaty. <laughs> and then I cried. So like some of the sweat kind of the old sweat got in my eyes. I was like, oh, that kind of hurts. But the question I wanted to ask you was, what do you think your most vulnerable like you've been most vulnerable towards someone. Like for me, I'll let I'll tell you my story while you think. Okay. For me, I was, pro- was probably crying in front of Avery. It wasn't that time. <laughs> it was a different time. <laughs> it was another time. I can't. I just remember we were uh, in my room, and I forget the circumstances exactly, but I basically was like, I was like really really worried for her, and then <laughs> I was worried about myself, like our relationship. Nothing like bad, but like, you know, overthinking, blah, blah, yeah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, So like I started crying and it was like the crying where I was like. <laughs> 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 yeah, like it was like, I, I guess you could call it an ugly cry. Is that what, I guess it was yeah. an ugly cry. I mean, I feel like ugly cries are more like, <laughs> like, like, uh, I don't know, like Jennifer Lawrence has a bad, bad uh, ugly, yeah. chi- uh, ugly try. Ugly try? Yeah, try. Try, try yeah. your best. I'm trying That's what my- you're doing. Anyways, yeah, so I, it was the first time I cried in front of her, but I think it was the most vulnerable I've been in front of someone like that, I feel, I like, you know? So I wanted to see what your, like, what like your a, like a experience friend. was. Yeah. I feel like I've cried in front of, like, all my friends. Like, I've definitely fri- cried in front of you. I've definitely cried in front of Avery. But, like, I wasn't, like, vulnerable mm-hmm. at that point. Like, I feel like I knew what I was doing. I knew what I was getting myself into. Um, I feel like it's always, like... All right. I, so, like, the the most vulnerable I think that I've ever been was probably when Hannah and I broke up. Mm-hmm. Because, like... I don't know. It's a tough like, it's, experience it's, 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 a, it's a tough, tough, tough thing, but, like... We were just like sitting in my room and I just remember like getting upset and like crying. And like, I was just like, I just want to, I just want to hold you. That's that's it. I just want to hold you like one last time and then we'll say bye. And like, that's, I feel like that was just my, 
most vulnerable that I've ever been. And like, I don't want to dive more into depth. No, on yeah, that. that's totally fine. I don't want to get uncomfortable or anything. But I feel like it's always you're at your most vulnerable when you're with your significant other. And I consider you my significant other. I mean, daddy. Uh, did you just call me daddy? Maybe. On a podcast? Yeah. So, should, should we kiss right now? I said this last episode, and you never kissed me. So. Oh. Um, Do you got something you want to say? Uh, I, I I don't get good. Put- First, you sit in the pool without me. <laughs> <laughs> now this. Listen, listen. Also. 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 You notice anything new about me today? Yeah, you're uh, you're wearing a hat. Oh. Beach. Yeah, it's it's a little sunny out. Can and jeans, see? which is kind of weird, but hey. They're ripped jeans. So <laughs> ripped jeans. So are they jeans really? Any, okay. Maybe. Why are you wearing a hat? Because uh, your beautiful, beautiful girlfriend, <laughs> <laughs> Avery. A woman of topic this episode. <laughs> a woman of topic this episode. She said. That my hair was messed up, which it was. <laughs> it was. I will give her this. Uh, that was it, so funny. Let's give some background. So we're at work. Was it Saturday or yesterday? It might have been Saturday. One of the days. One of these this past I think, weekend. I think you uh, like walked up when I was doing dishes at the beginning of the day on Saturday, and you're like, Avery said this. And I was like, <laughs> oh, my yeah. gosh. So she texted me because she was watching the podcast, and she goes, you're, fa- oh, you're, you're a fake friend for not telling Corey his hair is messed up. And she sent a picture, and it was just crazy. <laughs> yeah, and then he sent me the picture, and I was like, it's not really crazy. So, do you want to hear what I said to her? So what did you say? <laughs> I was like, in my defense, his hair always looks crazy. <laughs> I, I mean, to. that's a good defense, because I will definitely <laughs> agree with that. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I don't care. I'll take off the hat, but I, I like the hat. I think it was good leeway. I think he's coming. Up I think on our the rooftop. Click, click, click. click. Da, 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 da. Down came the chimney. Came old say Nick. I don't know if that's the right word. That's his name. Oh my god, that oh, is his shoot. name. Okay, next thing. Sorry. That was, that was good. That was good. You I killed it. So this this is a sensitive topic for me. It revolves. This is just an work. episode full of like Avery and sensitive topics. It's not really a sensitive topic. It's about work. Oh, it's about work? Yeah. It's not sensitive at all. It is sensitive. I had, okay, so, still recording, right? Okay. So, I had the brilliant idea of gaslighting someone <laughs> at, my, at our job. So, our job consists of like 12, there's probably more than that. How many people would you say work there? Like do you 15? Want, do you just want to 16? name everyone? Get it, <laughs> get it down? No. <laughs> so, we got Frank, Theo. <laughs> Jamera Kwai. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have, well, there's a lot of people there. But one girl in particular is very gullible. It believes a lot of anything you say, she'll believe it. And I had the idea of trying to make her believe that my name wasn't Ryan for the like year and a half that she's worked there. <laughs> she has and called what, me Ryan because, you know, that's my name. Yeah, and what, what name did you choose to go I, by? I went with the name James. Oh, that James. is what I was going with. Yes. James. So I had this idea. I was like, this girl is gullible, easily persu- persuaded that I was going to tell her my name was James, but I needed everyone in on it. So that's when I started doing that. I started recruiting everyone in our business. <laughs> I recruited Corey. I recruited all the girls, Haley, Iris, Jessica, uh, Faith, Hope, all of them. I even recruited our like main upper management guys, like the owner, Carlos. I mentioned him. I had him. I got him on the joke. I had Sergio, Luis, the like other main chefs, the managers. I had them all calling me James. I we even went to the extent we have tips like money from our tips, and we have little clips with our names on it to decide who's is who. Iris went and changed that for me from Ryan to James. She even went onto the system that when I clock in, it says Ryan. She changed that to James. It was completely and totally planned out. It was gonna work. I went. I even changed my name on Instagram. Yeah. I changed it to James. I changed my, my usernames to the generic, like no first name or anything. And then the day I was going to do it, which was Saturday, the day I was going to do it, she was supposed to work and she doesn't come in. And I'm like, what the heck? But I was like, maybe she's just coming in at four. Maybe she's coming in late. So I'm cleaning the fryers. And then Faith, I come back from the bathroom and Faith's like, hey, or Corey's like, Faith, Faith has something to tell you. And I'm like, oh God. 
And he's like, it's not very good news. I was like, no. So I went and talked to Faith. Carly, it's, I'm kind of confused. She either quit or she was fired. One of the two. Either way, she's not working at Golden Flame anymore. And my idea, my plan, my scheme was ruined. It was thrown out the drain. Thrown thrown out the window. Thrown out the drain. <laughs> thrown out the drain. <laughs> it, was, it was wasted. It was gone. So now... I'll never be able to know if I was would have been able to gaslight her or not. I think I could have because Tuesday I worked with her when I was still getting things intact. Um, oh, did I say she also changed the schedule that she sends out to people? Oh no, you didn't. I you did didn't not. Say that. So yeah, she changes. She changed like the schedule she sends out to all of us. She changed my name on the schedule to James as well. Like it was all of was, our bases was, were covered. It was honestly perfect. It really was perfect. And like I, we definitely could have got her. We could have got her. We, yeah, we could. Even Tuesday when I worked with her, before, like the it was she worked Tuesday and Saturday, and I was like, I'm gonna do it Saturday because like more people know about it on Saturday than they would do Tuesday. So I was like, t- uh, the Tuesday everyone was calling me James still, and my like all the things that we changed were there, and she didn't notice whatsoever. What like they were calling me James, and I was responding to it, and she didn't ask a single question on why I was called James. <laughs> She just doesn't care. I was so <laughs> upset. I almost had it. It's it's okay though. It's all right. Maybe we'll gaslight Preston. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> I don't think we could though. I don't think we could either. He's definitely a smart, smart, a smart young man. lad, young fellow. Young this is losing child. air. I gotta repump it. It still looks good though. It does look good. Look at the frame. Look, honestly, everything's coming together. Everything is coming together. I can't. Sorry, I'm changing the subject again. Um, I'm gonna talk about how everything really f- went into place when I'm editing these videos and the sound and everything. So we talked about it last week about how um, there's always something. There's always more to something than you expect. And for this case. The audio in our videos, the audio drift, the audio would not be synced up with our video, and then we would have to just use the camera audio instead of our microphones with a clear quality. I figured it out. <laughs> I figured out how to do it on my editing software, so now we could use our microphones and the camera video, and it all looks perfect. And that's what I did last week, and that's what I'm going to do for the future. And I'm so happy. I was literally, I was in like a party chat with him. Uh, like on the PlayStation, I was in a party chat with him while I was doing this, and all he heard was me go, oh my fucking god, there's no way. And he was like, what? I was like, there's no fucking way. Oh my god. He's like, Ryan, what? And I was like, if this is what I think it is, I'm gonna scream. And he's like, he proceeded to scream. I Yeah, he was like, what is happening? And I proceeded to scream and yell. Yeah. And he's laughing, and then I was like, I figured out the fucking audio issue. I've never felt more bliss and joy in my life. I told literally everyone about it. I told you about it. I told Avery about it. I told my dad. I told Iris. I told all the coworkers. I was so excited. And no one was like picking. You were the closest. No one was picking up on like how excited I felt about this thing. I was so happy. Of course. And I was on the, it was in the party chat with you. Yeah. <laughs> you, were, you were just like, like I told Avery was like hyping me up too, but my dad was like, oh, nice. And then Iris was like, oh, nice. But that was it. And I was like, I deserve more. <laughs> I, deserve I more. want more. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. This this podcast has honestly just been like, it's been kind of crazy. It has been kind of crazy. And I think things are finally flowing into play. Play. What? Things are finally Playing coming together. Playing into motion. Complain. <laughs> things are finally coming together. Uh, the only issue I think we have now is making sure our audio works. Like, I'm very scared your audio is not working right now. I, I, think, I think it's working. But we'll check it when the camera cuts. But that's another issue is apparently the camera, there's this whole thing that you can't record more than 30 minutes because it, once you record past that, it's considered a video camera. And then from there, it's different taxes, different, like all these different things. So Canon, the company I'm using for my camera, uh, could like has to limit it. I think it's like 29 minutes and 20 or 59 seconds. And then that's what keeps it from being considered a camera from a video camera. Should I have bought a video camera? Probably would have been wiser. <laughs> yeah. Do I regret anything? Not whatsoever. No. <laughs> this is fine. This, this, this is perfectly it's working fine. fine. It's some quite some small edits and I get to use it for my stream too. So yeah. That was really weird. Why did my hand just shake like that? <laughs> oh, are you, you shaking, that? Are you I guess shaking we, dice? Playing Yahtzee? <laughs> Yahtzee. Full house. Full. 
I love it. That's a great game. Yahtzee? Yahtzee. I never really got into that game. Why? I don't know. I feel, like, I feel like I wasn't good at it, so I didn't like it. It's a game of luck. Like, you can't know what the dice are going to be. I mean, yeah, but it's like that plus I couldn't find, like, figure out the right. Like, my, I was younger when I played it, obviously. I could probably do that yeah. now. But when I would do it when I was younger, my parents would like, have to point out the numbers. Because, like, I was like, what's a full house again? What's a yeah. straight? It's just, like, it's just like cards, though. Like just like solitaire and well, you see, <laughs> I struggled with those too. I have water on my face. It's kind of hot. You want me to lick it up? Well, we have to keep an eye out on our at the time because I don't know if my camera will show it. Oh, got you, got you, got you, got you. I changed some settings for the stream, so we're still good though. Yeah. Um. Pretty cool. I had I had more things to cover. Did you want to say anything before I keep going? Sorry. Um. I feel like I've been talking a lot this episode. You have been talking Sorry. a lot, but it's been it's been nice. I, I like hearing your voice. I think you have a very very sexy voice. Oh, whoa. More with the flirting. Like I just wanna just wanna take you to the back. And... All right, let's let's see what we got. Here. <clears throat> um, let's kiss see. you on your. I covered that. Covered kiss you on that. Your mouth. Okay. Maybe with some. Tongue. This is a hypothetical. We love our hypotheticals, obviously. Let's say. I just want to kiss you. Go to the back. All right, continue. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Let's say you found a wallet on the floor, on the ground. Hey, I had to go get my wallet. <laughs> this you didn't morning. have to get your wallet today. Um, let's say you found your wallet out. Uh, not your wallet. Found a wallet on the street, in like Disneyland, Universal Studios, okay. Elitches. So like they got bank. If yeah. they're going to Disneyland. Exactly. You open it up, and there's like a lot like there's two grand in there what do you do two grand two grand what do you do like knowing my dumb self i wouldn't even notice it's on the ground <laughs> <laughs> honestly that's the most realistic answer i've ever heard it's just like i just walk by it and be like what <laughs> what is this thing what is that no <laughs> pick it up and then you realize you're like oh oh <laughs> so like i don't know that being like the realistic answer um I don't know. I mean, the basic answer would be like, I'll, I'll take the money and leave and go. Would you do that? I don't think I would. I, I got I got enough money right now. It's okay. I don't need more money. That's fair. Like, I, Would I, you keep any of it? Like, no. if there was like ones, would you take the ones and then leave the higher? No. Okay. Would you tr go to return it to like the main desk or what? What would you I do? Would, would you lay it back down? Lay it back down. <laughs> well, that's my thing because uh, it's like anytime I like find something that seems like kind of a value, I'm like in my head, I'm like, what if the person comes back here to retrace their steps and now it's not yeah. gone? Because like I've done that before. I'm like, oh, I lost my my Apple Watch. I don't know. I lost my watch. Let me go look back at the beach where I was laying. Yeah. So like if I if someone found it and then picks it up and I go back to look, then it's not there. Then I'm like, ah. You know? Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I would. I think I would try to, like, if we were at, like, a resort or some something along those lines, I would probably go to, like, the front desk mm -hmm. and be like, yo, someone <laughs> dropped this. Yo. There's a lot of money in there, so, like, be careful. <laughs> careful. What careful, if you careful. found it on, like, a sidewalk? A random, like, like a just, park. like, walking on, like, the street? Yeah. Like, we're walking down Colfax. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, a wallet. Kind of a scary. Oh, there's, there's a syringe. Walking, oh, there's a syringe. Oh, oh there's, there's a, a hooker. There, oh. There's, oh, there's a needle. Oh. There's a homeless guy. Hey, homelessness is a big serious condition in this country. Don't you joke about it. I won't. Let's get to these ads. <laughs> Let's get to these ads. No, I, I, I think I would... I don't know. If it was just sitting on the sidewalk, I'd just leave it there. I think that's what I would do, too. Because, or I would look... You I feel like, Why'd you give me that look? Corey? Hold on. Hold what are you on. trying to say here, Buckaroo? I don't know. You think you you would just leave it? Yeah. You wouldn't Why even wouldn't you wouldn't take any of the money. Yeah. Really? A part of me would be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna take this five dollar bill or I'm gonna take these two dollars. But it's like I wouldn't actually do that. I mean at that point, just take the whole <laughs> two grand, right? No, because it's like two dollars compared to two grand. Like they're, they're not, not even gonna, gonna miss, notice. Exactly, they're not gonna miss two dollars. I know, but if you were to do some something like that, I would like make it so they know, 
Like, I, I'm, I'm sure going to take. They it. lost their wallet. They know. They I'm going to take two hundred dollars. That's ten percent. <laughs> There's a there's a fee for finding the wallet. Finders keepers, <laughs> the finders keepers fee. No, I feel, I like I, I feel like I could say the thing and then joke about it, but it's like when it comes down to it, I won't actually like do it. Yeah, you just so leave like, it there. Ah. Or so I, what I was gonna say is if I found it on like the street or whatever, I would like try to see if their ID, because sometimes it has their address. Yeah. So I'd be like, ah, oh, is this close by? And I would look, and if it was, then I'd be like, oh, I'll go take it to him. But if it was like. 20 minute drive or it's like different state I'd be like, ah. yeah i mean i wish there was like a like a company that came around i sound stupid saying this but i'm gonna keep keep on going i wish there was like a, a company that went around and like helped people like i mean that's basically like what the police does for like <laughs> helping people honestly I helping people that. that is kind of a I think that's my dream. I think I've like I've always wanted to do that in any way, and I think like my biggest dream of helping people is kind of like the way Mr. Beast does that thing, where he just like, like just gives, gives a away. Bunch. Did you have you seen that interview where he's like like he was asked why uh, like when did he start getting money and like when did he start like putting it into his videos? Mm -hmm. And he yeah. was like, I I just like the first episode like I did it and I put money into it. So he's just been growing ever since the first episode. Wow. And like, I don't, I, I, you like Mr. Beast more than me. Yeah. I, I thought it was just a lot. Like his videos were a lot. They are a lot. They're, they're very extreme. Yeah. And I, I don't want to go on YouTube and watch something like extreme like that. Like I'll just watch a TV show. No, nah, I watch, I watch all of Mr. Beast's stuff. It's crazy. Like his latest one, he like the Willy Wonka. Yeah, he built a whole Willy Wonka yeah. factory, and he played different games for these people to win it. But then win it, it was half a million dollars because he like he yeah won just it. half a million. And then he was like, ah, all this stuff's gonna go horrible. It's gonna upkeep. It's gonna be like two hundred thousand. What if I just buy this for you from five hundred thousand dollars? And I'm like, oh my gosh, what a crazy idea. Yeah. So basically, we're competing for five hundred thousand dollars. But that's the, that'd be so sick. Like maybe just helping people in general. Maybe not to like even that extreme, but like being able to. I know he kind of a bad per like sensitive person to yeah. bring up, but yeah, yeah. like David Dobrik, like how he would just like go to random people and be like, "Hey, here's money. Here's a car or whatever." That's the type of thing where it's like, oh, here's, I'll pay off your tuition. I, that's the dream. I want to do that. Like, I envision, uh, like, becoming, like, really, really, really famous or whatever, getting a lot of money. And then it's like, she doesn't watch these, so it won't be a surprise or anything. But you're going up to Bree and being like, hey, my sister, Bree, uh, being like, hey, here's money to pay off your student loans. This is, like, a big issue in your life right now. Let me pay it off for you. Going to, like, my mom and Nick, being like, hey, Here's a house in Florida that you guys want to go retire back into. Going to my dad and Christina, be like, hey, here's a house in Colorado that you guys want to move to. Like, helping people, not even just my family, just helping anyone. Being like, hey, here's $30,000 to go. 30000 <laughs> That's a lot. But here's That's like, a lot. Here's like $2,000 to help whatever bills you need. Yeah. Like, that's what I want to do. That's what I will do when I, if I get grow. That's what I would do if I'll grow. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> like, no, nah, I'm gonna spend it all on drugs and hookers. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I would like just get the paintings and stuff and like statues and I'd, I'd have. Okay, so Jay Schlott, he has a, a statue of um, I think it's a chimp. <laughs> get an NFT. I think he has an NFT, <laughs> like an NFT too. Oh my but, god. But. Uh, he, I think he got a gifted from him from Miskif. Mm -hmm. um, but he has a statue of a chimp and his balls are brown or bronze. Oh, that's right. <laughs> like, I would kill. I would kill to have something like that. Like, he had it, like, he didn't have it in his possession. He ordered it, like, it was like a three month process or something yeah. like that. And he, uh, he couldn't get it to his house because none of the moving companies wanted to move it because they didn't want the liability because it didn't have insurance. He didn't have anything like crazy to protect it. Yeah. So it was just like sitting in the facility. 
Like, that would be the dream. Having artwork waiting for me, that would be so sick. I like, love that. Like, order something crazy off of, like... Etsy? Etsy. <laughs> and then it just shows up in, like, a big package. And you do it. Stick it in your uh, your living room as, like, a tie together. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, the room. <laughs> the room. I think... I don't know. I, would, I mean, I would, like, like make sure... I would pleasure, like in myself. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Not that type of podcast. <laughs> I'd make sure I was like well off my own. I would like buy my Tesla that I'd want, a good house, a good apartment, whatever. But and like I, I think about that too because I'm like, what is, what do these YouTubers and streamers do when they get like forty or fifty? Because it's like a lot of people don't. I mean, we don't really know yet because none of them are this old. Like, YouTube is a decently new thing, 10, 12 years old. Probably definitely longer, but, like, popular streamers or whatever. Yeah. So it's like, what are they going to do? Like, do they have enough? How does, like, I've just not known. How does, like, retirement work? Does retirement work for that type of job? Do you think they get paid? I mean, they are... Is it like a music company? Like they get royalties to their videos? For every video? I mean, it would make sense, but like after years, I don't think their videos would start getting views anymore. I know, but they would still be like getting views, like just like they're listening to music. Like if you listen to a song from from an artist, yeah, they get a certain percentage. But yeah, but I, I'm like, but it's like, I'm not watching videos from 10 years ago. So it's like 10 years from now, who's to say that people are going to watch videos? Oh, I from... definitely still watch videos from 10 years ago. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, maybe That's some like, people. They probably be bring in some, but probably not enough to like live off of. So it's like, does how does retirement work for that? So like for me, I'm thinking like I'd like oh, I'd put money away, obviously for retirement, and then I hear I would invest it in something, whatever earns value. So like real estate, painting, real estate, real estate. I hear is where it's at. It's all the TikToks I see. Yeah. But um, like I would have just invested in the stuff like that. So like make sure I was well off in the future as well. But I would give a lot of the money. Not a lot of it. Probably a lot of it. A decent amount of the money to people who need it. I would just want, like, people to come up to me and ask me. Like, I don't want to give stuff out. Like, I just want people to be like, hey, can I can I have some money? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah. <laughs> there you are. There, just there like, you go. Just like Tommy. Tommy? Tommy oh, Shelby. In... in- Peaky Blinders. Speaking about Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blind. No, we're not talking about Peaky Blinders. I finished it. Oh, oh, you finished it. Oh, hell yeah. Overall show, rate it out of 10. Okay, so without any spoilers, because this, yes, man, this man is still... <laughs> I heard some spoilers with you and Carlos talking about yeah, it, you motherfuckers. It's fine. It's fine. But, it's whatever. Uh, overall, I think... I think this last season was kind of a letdown. Um, I don't know. I, it just ended like I was expecting like a big happy ending and like a like a like a conclusion to the Shelby family where she's juicy. Yeah, and it wasn't really juicy. But I will confirm something right here and right now. There will be other Peaky Blinders stuff coming soon. Isn't there a movie? There's a movie, and I think there's another show. Oh, interesting. Because, like, in the last season, I, I hate when TV shows do this. Like, they did it in Community and, like, all these great TV shows. They introduce new characters in it, mm-hmm. and it's the last season. So yeah. they have, like, nothing to go off of. But, like, I get it. They're planning to see. They want to, like grow out and do other things involve other people in Peaky Blinders because get the American Peaky Blinders I, no spoilers stop it I, I'm just kidding they're probably not. the American I the mean, American America <laughs> it's a honestly the last episode has you going for a twist like it's just like you're 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 thinking about it and you're like oh my god this is this is gonna happen this is something bad is gonna happen right now and then it, you, <laughs> you're just like what? <laughs> Whoa. Hold How on. did that happen? And I can confirm this. I will confirm confirm it. Actually, I will not. Okay. I, I can't because <laughs> that was oh like goodness. the majority of the Peaky Blinders. I was going to... Uh, there's there's one person dead. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Not the, not the Peaky Blinders. 
but I didn't say who. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I appreciate it. Thank you. I got Stranger Things spoiled for me. Like this latest season. I was I made it all the way to the last episode. And I had like 20 minutes left. And if you've seen the last episode of Stranger Things, that's where literally all the spoilers like happen. And I, so I was I was right there. And then um, I didn't get to finish it because I was at work or whatever. And then <laughs> I was like looking through Facebook on a either that same day or later. But then I saw it was like, ah, I can't believe the versatility of this character or of this actor or character. I don't know. And then it showed I'm not going to try to avoid any like, spoilers, obviously, but it showed like the main spoiler for that show. And I was like, no, no. But luckily, luckily enough, I still got some shock because as soon as I saw that, I like scrolled before I looked at the rest of it. So it's like I was I only saw half of the spoiler. It was like the main majority of the spoiler. But I saw the, the second half. And I was like, oh, so I was still a little shocked, but I was so sad. I was like, no, I hate when things get ruined for me. Yeah. Like um, when Superman versus Bat- Bat- Batman versus Superman. Yeah, I was like, I got that back. Ben Affleck, the, the terrible Batman movie. <laughs> yeah. When that one came out, one of my, at the time, like really good friends, she spoiled it for me. And I was like beyond pissed. What is there I, to spoil about Batman versus Superman? Oh, that. That he dies? Oh, that. Did he die? Yeah, happens. he died. That's what happens in the comic books. Well, okay, I didn't fucking read the comic books. And also, like, he doesn't die. Well, obviously, we know that now, but at the time, I didn't know he was gonna die. Okay? So why are you trying to? Why are you trying to take this away from me? She she gave you false information. No, she didn't. He died in the movie. He, he does not. Did die. he not get resurrected? Get resurrected? No, he yeah. was alive the entire time. No, he wasn't. He was alive the entire time. No, he wasn't. Did you see the coffin? What? Did you see the coffin? Did you at watch the end? fucking Justice League? Did you see the coffin at the end of Batman versus Superman? Answer the question, Ryan. I can't remember. Did you see the coffin? <laughs> I, yeah. The coffin was moving the entire time. He wasn't dead. He, he died. He wasn't. He died. They he literally resurrected dead. him. He, he literally wasn't. resurrected him in Justice League. There was a coffin at the end of Batman versus Superman. Okay. And as you can see. Then why the is coffin, he dead in Justice League? Oh my god. It's like Captain America. He's not really dead. No. What do you mean he's not really dead? He isn't like, dead. <laughs> no, I'm talking about like how he was trapped in like the ice and stuff like that. Like he he wasn't dead. Like, he was just trapped in the ice or whatever. Like it's the same thing. No, it's not. It's, the same it's completely thing. different. They literally resurrected him. Oh you can't God. resurrect someone if they're not dead. But Yeah, wait, no, because there was the 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 dirt and it floated up. When they were burying Superman, the the dirt from the top of the coffin, it lifted up. Okay, you're focusing on one movie? I'm talking about the second movie. Ju- well, Ju- Justice, Justice League wasn't League. good, so... None of the DC movies are good. That's not true. <laughs> yes, it is. That's not true. I'll stand by that. Marvel forever. No. Yes. <laughs> Marvel is 100% better. I mean, I would say, like, Marvel movies... Like, Marvel has the movies. DC has the shows disagree because like flash flash was good for three arrow. seasons arrow fell off it did fall off what did you just it say? did fall off i stand oh, by that i was an arrow God. fan too arrow is so good arrow was a great show it fell off I, I don't think it fell off supergirl was never that good yes supergirl wasn't that good dc legends gotham gotham was fire i never watched gotham it's it's gotham is good if you how are you gonna it? say marvel shows are worse what? The only what? Daredevil. That's about it. I definitely not true. Daredevil, Punisher, Jessica Jones was even hardcore. Even the shows now that are like actually Marvel. Uh, WandaVision. I didn't Moon Knight. WandaVision like oh, that. get out of here. I don't. I don't. I, you have no opinion then. I'm, if you're not gonna watch I, the Marvel shows, you can't say that they're worse than DC shows. I watched WandaVision. I watched uh, Hawkeye and the Winter Soldier. You just said you didn't watch Art Division. No, I I said I didn't watch it like that. Like, I watched, like, four episodes. Exactly. (laughs) It's because it wasn't interesting. I don't care about the characters. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Like, I don't... Oh, my God. I don't get it. Just give me Batman and Spider-Man, and I'll be happy for the rest of my life. (laughs) And Deadpool. Deadpool. 
Ryan Reynolds. Daddy? I mean, Daddy. Would you say he's your, like, you know how it's like Ryan Reynolds is like every straight guy is gay for type of thing? Would you say he's yours? No. Who's yours? Idris Salvo. I know who it is, but I need you to remind me. Uh, did you watch the new Suicide Squad? I the Suicide Squad? Oh my Could you God. try? <laughs> That's good. Bro, the Suicide Squad. The first one was good. The second one was fire, too. I didn't too. watch the second one. The second Which one? one? Wait, okay, so okay. Go, get, who is that? Idris Elba. Did you see any of the trailers for the second one? Yeah. Uh, he was the... Um, Maybe. Uh, Take your time. Should I just Google him? My no, computer's no, no, right no, no, here. No, 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 He... How do I explain who he was? I don't even remember. He was like the... The guy with the amazing voice. Like that's the only thing that I can. Wow, I'm looking him up. He's he was like the. He wasn't the bad guy in it because he was the good guy. Oh 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 oh! Not John Cena. He played a. Uh, what show? He was in a. Uh, he was in the Office, right? Oh yeah, he was. Okay in the okay yeah, yeah 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 yeah. Mine's definitely uh Tom Holland. Basic. I that man. Ten out of ten. Oh yeah, I mean Tom Holland is great. He's just. He looks like a little kid. Like, it's... I don't know. I don't like that. I don't know about... I don't know. He looks like a little kid. It's the same thing with, like, him and Timothy Chalamet. Sha- <laughs> Chalamet. 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 I love, like, all the... Like, finding out, like, all the things in um, Don't Look Up from him. Oh, yeah. How they were all, like, just improvised. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that that whole movie was so good. That movie was really like, good. Like, Leo in that movie was fun. What was the other one that they said that was really good? Um, everything, everywhere, all at once. Yeah. That's what it's called, right? Mm-hmm. I saw like a bunch of TikToks saying that was like fantastic, but I never watched it. Yeah. Uh, was it Kalen who? I think Kalen was talking to me about that. Yeah, I don't. I don't talk to Kalen. I love Kalen. Right. I saw. I found our bracelets. I was oh, cleaning the, out my the uh, fuck off. Yeah. Yeah. I was cleaning out my desk and I found it in there. I was like, oh, lit, cool. I. I think I still have it. I, I had it on my water bottle for a while because the like the rope or whatever, the mm-hmm. string, it wore off. Yeah, that's how my that's what happened to mine it just too. Broke. Yeah. Mine broke too. I have to sneeze. I think. <laughs> <laughs> how about you never do that again? For the for the listeners at home, uh, Ryan was about to sneeze and I made a, made a face. <laughs> <laughs> you made a noise too. I'm sure they heard that. I made a noise. You did make a noise. Was did you ever find the TikTok that we should use for our first video? Did you look? Honestly, I'm going to be 100% honest. This <laughs> is going to be raw. I don't think there's any. That's fair. I, I think our first episode is just A-OK the way that it is. Okay. So I a lot of them are going to come from our second one. Then. Yeah. Because every said we should do the one. I think I already told you. We should do the one where you're singing. Uh, then the ones that I said. we got to talk about... Uh, <clears throat> The one letter guy. Yeah, the one letter guy. <laughs> the one letter guy. And then that your mom has a browser subscription. Yeah. <laughs> I also think, should we make all of our skits at the beginning into TikToks too? That's an interesting idea. Maybe. We'll I'm see sure how. We could. I, I mean, we could, yeah. Honestly, at this point, what is, might as well just do anything. <laughs> Yeah. It doesn't have to be good. I just. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it has to be good. I mean, the good ones will take off, but the bad ones won't. So, and none of them are going to be bad, though. Why? Why are you bring this negative energy? True, in here? true. We're funny, honestly. From what I hear, everyone Freaking says we're hilarious. pretty funny. Freaking hilarious. I love hearing when people say that word. They're like, "Yeah, we were." I was cracking up. I was like, "Yes, yes." Who? Genuinely, leave a comment on our video because no one has commented yet. On no one has commented yet. Be the first one on Drink More Water to comment. Yeah, be the be the first one. What if I do it? Don't do it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> leave it for the other people. <laughs> I'm just uh, leave, leave, leave a comment of who's funnier. Ow. Wow. Me or Ryan. Wow. We're, we're doing this this early? <laughs> no, just Come kidding. on. Come let, on. Let, no. let, me, let me. Who Who do you think? Has the the funnier segues, Ryan or Corey? The funnier segues? Yeah, I don't know. Who do who do you I think? Just, just his first question. Who do you think is funnier? Who That's do you think has the bigger big toe, me or Ryan? Sock. You're wearing socks. I am wearing pool? socks in a pool. I mean, technically, they saw my the, sh- the shoes. So. The shoes. The shoes. Our pool of mystery. 
They don't have anything. What if a- this is another Avery idea? <laughs> Who else do I talk to? No, but um, she is like, what if you get like, you know those like play balls, like the like kids, the, like the stuff at Chuck E. Cheese's, like the ball pit. Yeah, like ball pit balls. What if we fill that with the that the pool with those those? I feel like I will. My ADHD will kick in, and I, I know. Will, <laughs> like I'll just I'll start kicking, or like I'll I'll grab a ball and I'll just throw it. At you. <laughs> That's what I was thinking too. I was like, we'd probably play with that a lot <laughs> yeah. more than we would be talking. Yeah. Especially think, with our feet in here, yeah. you're just like, dude. <laughs> like I move around as it is. I don't know if you noticed that, but like when I edit the videos, I've noticed that like I'm constantly moving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm with very... balls there too, I'd be like, Ooh. yeah. So I was watching back on the video, yeah. and I hate it. I don't know if you guys can see it. I hold my hand like this sometimes. <laughs> and my hand just sits there like all awkward. And it's like, I look like a Lego character with my <laughs> hand like this. And I don't like it. Like, I don't know. I, I feel like this episode I've been a lot, like doing this a lot and like trying to. Oh. <laughs> For those who are listening to us. That was not a fart. <laughs> I wonder if you could hear it. Oh, that's funny. If you could probably should I just sit like this it. the rest of the podcast? I think you should. It's not the most. Can, I, can I do the rest of the podcast sitting in the the pool? That'll look weird with me like this, and then you in the pool. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'll do it for the last like five minutes. What if we both sit in the pool when we're saying our final statements? Okay. Do you want me to be on bottom or top? Hey, let's <laughs> let's not make that a conversation topic. Can we please make it a conversation topic? <laughs> I'm genuinely curious. My father listens to these podcasts. So? He thought I was talking about myself when I we were talking about our one-lettered friend. Oh. He thought I was talking about myself. And he didn't say anything about Ernesto? He did. He was like, oh, thank you for he was like he was like, thanks for the thanks for the little Ernesto shout out. And I was like, Yeah, anything for you. Yeah, yeah anything. Anything for our big lawyer. pops. Or big pops. Big I, pops. How's our Minnesota crew doing up there? Doing great. Doing great. Doing great. Christina, how you doing? Christina, how you doing? She listens to them too. Oh, she does. We should tell them to listen on different accounts though, so we get more views. No, you're right. I'm pretty sure they listen on the same one. So That's kind of fake. That's kind of fake. Get I thought they listen. cared about. Give us the listens. <laughs> Give us the views. Our views are we get more views than we do listens. I mean, that's fire. Makes sense though, because we don't really post our Spotify links, only the YouTube ones. Yeah. I I don't know. Do you know who's been uh, streaming on Twitch? Who? Roman. Roman? No way. Uh, the man. He, like, he, like, the other day I tuned in for, like, five or, I don't know, a little bit. <coughs> he was playing Valorant, and he did, for every Valorant game that he lost, he did 20 push-ups. Oh. And for, I think it was for every kill or something, he did five. <laughs> Like, I, don't I wouldn't want to kill anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to kill anyone. I would make it where, like, every kill I get, I, like, take a push-up off. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Just just to get the views and stuff. I I freaking love Roman. I love Roman. That man. Shout, out, shout out that man. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Should we, should we do shout outs? Oh, yeah. Let's do our shout outs. We didn't do any last week. Yeah, we so didn't do any last week. Am I still in the frame? I can't see. Is my head at least? Yeah. Okay. okay. Still in the okay. Sick. <laughs> All right. You go first. Shout out. You want me to go first? Shout out of the week. Um, shout out of the week. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Alyssa at BJ's. If you're listening, I miss you and I love you and I care about you very much. You're an amazing person. I think that's my shout out of the week. Who's does your it, shout out? Does of it the have week, to be Mike? people we who listen to the podcast? <laughs> I, I actually think that she listens to the podcast. No, I know, I know. I know she, because you told me about her. Mm-hmm. Um, that's why. But does it have to be people that listen to the podcast? I don't think so. You can do whoever you want. You can shout out Barack Obama if you wanted to. I'm going to shout out <laughs> our war wife. <laughs> David Dobrik. Come on our, in. Our war wife. Our war wife. Our war wife. JJ, the man, the myth, the legend. Oh, James. James? Um... <laughs> Why do we call him our war wife? Should uh, I explain it or should you? I, I can explain it. That's good. Uh, I've so, talked a lot. He's your turn. No, thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> right, go ahead. Well, the reason why we call him our war wife is because when we we usually work on Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays together. Usually, I'm off Friday this week, which is crazy. Oh hell yeah! 
Lit. I'm so excited. But uh, an af- after we come home from a nice long day at Golden Flame, a nice exhausting day at Golden Flame, we come home and we play video games. And guess who's just waiting for us? <laughs> He's just waiting for us with the biggest smile on his face. He's just super excited to hear our voices. He's just like a little war wife. Our little war wife. He's, He's just waiting for us. He to waits come patiently. Home. Yeah, I think it's cute. He calls. He has my location, so he he has your location. I think you have your location turned off though, because neither right. neither of us, yeah, neither of us could look at it. It always like it doesn't work, so we have to look at that because I want to see where you go. I want to see whose houses you go to. I I come here. I go to Golden Flame. <laughs> I I do that and do this. Go to. Supers and Walmart <laughs> and that is it and that is it but I like to look at when it's like we're going home I'm like is he home yet and then I like go to look <laughs> no please please no watermelon. come back watermelon. let me sneeze watermelon. watermelon are you saying watermelon? watermelon that's what my mom told me whenever you have to sneeze you have to either look into the light uh huh or say watermelon three times haven't heard away. the watermelon one the light thing is actually a real thing how do you know because it works on me, and it's like a thing where if like you get exposed to bright light suddenly, you, a lot of people sneeze. Like Ashton, my brother, triple A. Every time when he was younger, the, man. the baby. Every time when he was younger, when we would like open the front door to leave, he would sneeze every single time because like the sun went directly into his eyes. Every single time. Do you sneeze. like sneezing? Uh, I, one yeah. of the people that like sneeze. I do like to sneeze. I don't like the build up to the sneeze though. Most of the time because I can't sneeze. So just. Like trapped in your throat. You're no, like, my nose. <gasps> I probably sound a little more congested because of my. I've had to sneeze three times already, and it won't come out. It like it's just like this intense pressure just right at the my yeah. nose. It's horrible. I actually have nose issues. I just like can't breathe ever. <laughs> Is that, isn't there like a surgery for that? Yeah, I think it's like deviate. Like that is. It might be a deviated septum, but I don't know if I mean you're too g- smart. What is that? TikTok. What can I say? No, a deviated septum. It's like the thing that separates, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It's just like it's crooked or whatever. I don't know. Who had that? There was a YouTuber who had that issue. And like he had to go, he or she had to go and get it fixed. Oh, it was uh, one of the Dolan twins. I don't know who that is. You don't know who the Dolan twins are? No. They're attractive. Oh. You know who else is attractive? Yeah. I do. <laughs> say it. You want me to say it? Yeah. Uh, I don't want to say it. Why not? You're attractive, right? Uh, that's what I was looking for. I, I was fishing for compliments. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. I was going to say something, but I decided not to. Corey had the best roast on me I ever heard. What? <laughs> he was like, I don't remember. Yeah, he roasted me a couple times. Um, the first one was he was like, ah, he was like, move. <laughs> he was like, move your fat ass. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then as I'm walking away, he's like, sorry, autocorrect. I meant flat. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that before. It was good, You're which welcome. is fair because I have. Nothing back there. Who's back there with us? Jessica. <laughs> Jessica. <laughs> she was like, what? She was on it. Jessica's the roast person at Golden Flame. She'll jump on anything, any chance she gets to what's, attack. What's the best thing that she's ever called you? She calls me. Um, She doesn't really call me mean things. She's nice to me. <laughs> what's that like? She. What does she call me? I think the most she, she makes fun of my height. Or that I'm... No, yeah, no she calls me... Uh, no, no, that's Luis. Luis calls me a monkey because of my army arms, my hairy arms. She calls me something for my arm hair, just how hairy my arms are. Sasquatch. She might call me a Sasquatch. Yeah. I feel like I've heard her say. That. Yeah, <laughs> she calls me something like that, and then she always like pets it. I guess like she goes down my arm. She's like, "Good boy, Ryan," as if I'm a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "Oh my god." <laughs> I. Uh... What does she call you, Corey? <laughs> Well, the first day that I started working there, she called me. <laughs> it was the first day? Yeah, it was. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. She called me a bearded lady. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
<laughs> and oh, if, oh, you know, you're you're talking about the other one. Yeah, my yeah. favorite one. Yeah. I just want to say it. Just call me it. Just say it. She calls him a refrigerator. <laughs> She's a bully, honestly. That's what. What did, what did she call you when you shaved your face? Uh, oh, she she said uh, she's like, ew, Corey, I don't like your pussy face. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Man. She was like, oh yeah, you know because you know, pussies you have to shave. And oh I'm like, my god! I'm like, you do that with like anything. You can shave anything. <laughs> pussy face. <laughs> like I don't know if she was talking about like my little double. Butt chin? chin. Butt chin, yeah. <laughs> At least I don't have a flat ass. Listen, listen. I'm just small. You see my cake? <laughs> you know who has a lot of cake? I don't say it. Who do you think I'm going to say? Who has a lot of cake? Yeah. It's not who you think it is. <laughs> it's a man. I'll tell you that. It's a man? It is a man. <laughs> Gibraltar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is, but JJ. <laughs> oh, Gibraltar. I get it. Okay, sorry. Who it took a second. Who is this guy? JJ. That man's got. A, that man's got cake. 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 He says it all the time. He's like, God, oh, my juicy fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> he also says other things too. JJ is hilarious. Honestly, <laughs> this man is one of the funniest people I know. <laughs> he really is. Honestly. Yeah. I love that man so much. I my favorite thing. None of you guys will get this reference, but. <laughs> and that makes me scared. <laughs> that makes me. I don't. I don't think that's his best thing that he says. What's the best thing he said? Oh, well, I can tell you the most fucking annoying oh, thing that he says. I, I already know what the most annoying thing is there. <laughs> Damn. No, it's Zam with a Z. Zam. Yeah, that's what he said. He's like Zam. Zam. She's twelve. Yeah. I hate that so much. I hate it so he much. He says too. it probably every two minutes. Yeah. But I think my favorite. You can't say you hate it because you say it all the time too. <laughs> I'm. I don't, I don't know what you're from. I'm a kid. I'm a kid. I, I monkey see monkey do. I'm just do. a kid. Monkey pee all over you. You're into that, aren't you? Sometimes. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Only the days that end in Y. Is. Wait. Yeah, all seven days. You have not anything? To, but not tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Tuesday. No, not tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Why? Because that doesn't end in Y. Ends in a W. T t Tuesday? Tomorrow. Oh. Oh. I'm with it. No. Um. Did Did you have any, like, final things to do, uh, like, 10 more minutes? Or should we just yeah, we final do, statements? We a little bit longer. I, I, well, we haven't done this for the first or the second okay. episode. Okay. I There's been a lot of new music coming out. Um, and I just wanted to know if you had a song or two that you would recommend for the for our listeners. Um, I've been I'm a big Post Malone fan. Probably my Not favorite artist. We talked about him last episode. Your first concert. We did. Speaking of, he's actually coming back October 30th. Let's go. Just Wait, and Suicide to... Boys is coming back. And Suicide first. Boys is also <laughs> in October. Bro, can we go? To both? Yeah. I plan on it. You say you plan on it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. I was like, whoever's <laughs> with me, I'm going. I don't care. I'm so down. But yeah, so Post Malone, his new album, 12 Carat Toothache. Yeah. I, it's all right. Not, not one of his best. Still really good. There's, there's really good songs on it. I think my favorite from there is probably yeah, Euthanasia. Euthanasia. Yeah. Or a, a happier song. What's that one? I Like You or I Like yeah. You. Something like that. That one's really good too. So go check those out. Post Malone if you haven't listened to them already. My favorite artist. What about you? What's, what's, you, what's your song? Um, I was watching this video the other day and it was this freestyle and it's so stupid, it's so funny, but it's <laughs> it's kind of silly. It's, it's a, I think it's called The Game. And it was just like a random freestyle, um, which is pretty, it's pretty funny. 
And then I've been also on a like a old punk rock. I mean, that's just me as a person. We love punk rock. I love punk rock. Uh, I don't. I forgot what the the name of the band is called. But it's called Prom Queen. Mm-hmm. It's a very very good song. Very very good song. You want to? <laughs> Avery had me listen to this song last night. It's a country song, and it's apparently it's a TikTok song. I figure out what it's called, so I'm gonna look it up real quick. A country song. Yeah, and it's on TikTok. I'm down. International Harvester. International Harvester. Yeah, I'm not gonna play it because we're on YouTube and I don't want to get copy yeah, shot. I'm but, gonna, I'm gonna look up what this other song is called. But it was, it's really funny because there's a part. I'm gonna read it because I forget what word it is, but it starts with P. Uh, oh, it's. Not, not the game, the race. The race. The race freestyle by Quandale Dingle. Dingleberg? <laughs> Dingleberg? Dingleberg. That's actually my uh, my my father's maiden name. <laughs> so like you could have been. My father's maiden yeah, name. Yeah, maybe you took your mom's last name, I don't know. But, but I have my dad's last name. Shh, it's okay. It was all for the joke. Wait, but I want your last name. What were you saying? Closing statement. Closing statement. Closing statement. Let's hear it. Uh, I don't know. If you if you liked the video, if you liked our podcast, if you like us talking to each other, we love talking, as you can tell. <laughs> um, just make sure to like and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. Uh, even if you listen on Spotify and listen on Apple Podcasts, Go over to YouTube, su- support us. Like we, 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 we really would appreciate it. Like it's, we're 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 trying something new every episode. We're trying to get you guys, like, to know us better. And I think this is a great way of getting to know us. Uh, our it's all coming together. It's all coming together. Uh, we have plans at the beginnings of the episodes. We we have our. Our closing statements. We have great topics that we talk about. Um, yeah, season two has been a blast so far. I, could I agree. can't wait for more episodes. With I you. could agree. Couldn't have said it better myself. Um, yeah. Did you want to say any? Or just kidding. Yes, yeah, so my my closing statement now. Unless yeah, you, you can, were you can, done. you can close. Okay. Yeah. Where, where can they find you? Wait, just no. Kidding. I wanted to say something first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna roll out the red carpet. This camera, this camera, this camera. <laughs> Tell us what's going on in your life. Uh, I was just going to say, I like he said, we appreciate all of you guys. And we should create like a thing where it's like, ah, if you share this with ten, five people and like send Sounds us a like screenshot a or something. Pyramid scheme. Exactly. Send out a pyramid screen where it's like, send us to five people and we'll get you on the podcast. There's this three-step process that you have to follow. <laughs> you must verify you're not a robot. You must verify, <laughs> and you must you must pay up front. Pay, pay. Anywho, anywho, uh, so that's us. Corey, where they can find you? What? That's where, us. Where, where can they find you, Corey? <laughs> that's us. Where can you find? Where can you find yourself? Uh, you can you can find me, uh, usually, at the baseball fields and the dugouts because I love playing in the sand. I don't know why I said that. That's fine. Anyways, uh, you can find me at Corey underscore in underscore the underscore house two <laughs> on Instagram. Follow the drink more water on Instagram as well. Uh, and on TikTok, hopefully. Yeah, follow me on TikTok as Everything well. Everything will be out in the description below. Yeah. Um, find me, my Twitch, Apollo One. Um, TikTok, there's a TikTok for that, my gaming TikTok, and then my regular TikTok and Instagram. That you did with your foot. Thank you. My regular (laughs) TikTok and Instagram is RyanIsWero95. So check us out. And, uh, oh yeah, we were supposed to be sitting in the pool. Shut up. I'm doing it. I want to sit with you. You want to sit with me? Yeah, scoot over. All right, I got a fat ass. I don't, so it works out. So, uh, so uh, this is the end of episode three, season two, Drink More Water. We just want to say that we love and care about you very much. Make sure to spread peace and love and positivity to everyone else around you. You are all loved. 
Drink more water. Drink more water. I think I'm in love with a lamp.